So human trafficking is one of the priorities uh, for Interpol and I suppose the catalyst was back in April 2018 when the Secretary General attended the G7 summit and it was requested and agreed to set up a global task force to tackle human trafficking. So since then we've been working hard to identify where the key threats are across the world and this recent event was in relation to West Africa and we focused on a couple of countries, Nigeria and Benin, where our members, our member countries are told us they had a particular problem, particularly with child labour within the markets there. So we decided to put an operation together to find out what was actually happening with the intention of not only arresting the perpetrators but safeguarding the victims and better understanding the threat so we could actually come up with some long-term sustainable solutions. Interpol deployed officers to support uh, local resources but the leadership was demonstrated by both Nigeria and Benin by the police agencies that mobilised and our role really was to coordinate, to pull people together and to also bring along Interpol's capabilities and those of our members so that we could maximise the resources and the efforts available to tackle this terrible crime. A number of arrests were made, approximately 50 arrests were made. Uh, over 200 uh, victims were safeguarded and out of those 200, almost 150 were children. So we bring uh, Interpol's capabilities and we make sure that the countries know how to use our capabilities. And the capabilities are anything from using our secure communication system to our criminal databases, analytical work files, and also the various capabilities we have to check on uh, people's uh, documentation, such, such as passports, travel documents uh, and other such items. So this operation is just um, one part of a much larger strategy. What we're trying to bring about is transformational and sustainable change within countries, uh, raising awareness uh, of what the problem is, working with countries to help mobilise and step up their activity against the, the problems that we face. And in this particular uh, example, the criminals on this occasion were from the countries of Nigeria and Benin, predominantly men, but the actual victims were from right across West Africa, which demonstrates a regional and global problem. So many of the children, and particular concern I have, are being um, shipped in to actually these markets to carry out forced labour. This is about organised crime groups who are motivated by money. They don't care how they obtain their money. They're just motivated by making money. They don't care about the children who are being forced into um, prostitution, forced into uh, forced labour to carry heavy sacks of rice and oil, working in terrible conditions, living on the street. They don't care about any of this. And by going after the money, not only do we map and understand who these criminal networks are and how they operate, it gives us the opportunity to attack the vulnerabilities and most importantly take the money away and thereby remove the incentive for committing this crime in the first place.